Good morning, this is Judy from Artistic Artifacts in Alexandria, Virginia, and we are privileged to have Susan Edmondson teaching a class with us today and tomorrow. So, uh, just, Susan screams color to me. Absolutely <laughs> color and stitch and depth. We've known each other for years, cross paths, you know, one of those traveling families that I talked to you about when, you know, when once you start doing shows, you meet teachers, you meet other vendors, and everybody just becomes close and helps each other out and has fun together. It becomes a whole nother family. And Susan is still doing the hard life of traveling as a teacher. Yes, it, it's not an easy life, but it, I make it work. It's yep. fun, and I get to see people across the country that I don't see every day, so that's really fun. That's the part I really miss about the, the not going to shows anymore. Yes. But but I'm still, you guys have to come see me now. <laughs> um, we do have one quick update. Seth Apter's class on Saturday is sold out. If you would um, like to be on the wait list for that, please email us at sales at artisticartifacts.com. We still have space in the Sunday class and the Friday evening. Um, so those are two great events um, and we expect them to fill up soon. So. If you're interested, please sign up as soon as you can. And we do definitely have space. We can go up to 50 people on Friday night. And uh, so we, we have more space for that. And we'll have some special shopping and that kind of stuff too. We also have some crazy summer deals on our Bernina floor models. So it's two weeks only, first come, first serve. You need to come to the store to purchase. It's it's crazy, crazy, crazy great prices. So um, don't miss this opportunity. If you cannot get to the store right away and there's a machine on the list, we sent out an email last night and Chris has posted it on social media, you can call us and put a $500 deposit down and we will save the machine for you. It is a $500 non-refundable deposit to get your Bernina machine. This is a great opportunity, lowest prices of the season, and we're, we're looking to brighten your summer up with a new machine. So, with that being said, you are also a Bernina ambassador, yes. Susan is. And how long have you been a Bernina ambassador? Oh, about 10 or 12 years, I guess. Now. Oh, my it's goodness. Been, I think okay. it's been that long. I'm not really sure. I don't keep up with dates anymore. But and what does that mean? What does it, it means I promote Berninas. Uh, basically, if I had not ever bought a Bernina, I would not be doing what I'm doing today. Uh, I do a lot of hand stitching, but I also do a lot of machine stitching, and both of them go together, mm -hmm. and the Bernina just made it so much easier. I teach on all the other brands out there from time to time, unfortunately, and none of them do what a Bernina will do. So, so the question is, which Bernina model do you use? Uh, well, I have like 10. <laughs> <laughs> So all of them. Correct. I have all of them. I have everything from an 802 to a 770. So I just got the new 475 CAFE edition recently, and I love that little machine. But I love all my Berninas, they're, and they're all still working quite well. So I love right. them. And if you come in today to purchase your machine, we get an ambassador coupon for you. What yes. does that mean? It's a $100 rebate coupon. You mail it in. It doesn't have anything to do with Judy's price. You get an extra $100 off. They send you a check. And you can come back in and purchase feet or other things that you would like to have for right. your machine. Right. So we, so we got we definitely have it made today. Definitely. It's great. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a good deal. class tomorrow would get that uh, yes. ambassador coupon. Yes. Because we, tomorrow you're actually working with feet. Yes. Right. Yes. So today's class is hand stitching. Just show them quickly your sample that you're doing. Um, this is what we're going to do today, which is called Octopus Garden. And the reason it's called Octopus Garden, two reasons. Uh, I'm a huge beetle fan. And when I looked at it, it just looked like little octopus tentacles. Tentacles, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And these are like barnacles or things that are on the bottom of the ocean so that's where it came from uh, a number of my pieces are named after beetle songs so 
Oh, um, that's, I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, this one's uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, it's just fun. This one's not finished yet, but it will be. So you've combined some hand stitching here with machine stitching. Yes. Which and, I think is great. And this is sort of um, Jean Wells' technique. I love her work. And she and actually face. she actually does one piece, starts to quilt it, quilts the background piece, and then quilts the two together. Oh, wow. So it's really three-dimensional. It's a quilt on top of a quilt. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love that technique. I took a class from her years yeah. ago, and she is a fabulous teacher also. Yeah. She's wonderful. That is great. That's very cool. Now, if you can get your ducks, if you're local, available, you can get your ducks in a row by 1030 this morning, you can come and find a seat in right. the class today. Right. And we do still have some uh, availability in tomorrow's class. Yes. So let's talk about that. Okay, tomorrow's class is going to be, this is my... This one is actually considered a triptych, um, which means it's three-sided. It's a book, and it will stand up if you bring it back just a little. That's okay. It won't stand up that way. Bring it back a little. Um, but anyway, I have in this one, I have done, this is free motion embroidery done with aqua mesh or a water-soluble stabilizer. This is free motion applique, free motion lettering. Um, we're going to be doing gathering. Where's my gathering here? Yeah, that's so great. This. And so you're using four different feet yes. and your Bernina machine. Yes. And we do have Berninas in the classroom now. So we have 770s available for you to use for the class. And this is a three-dimensional flower here that oh, was great. done with um, freezer paper. And then I've actually painted the edges of it. So it's got batting and two layers of batik. I love your buttons. So, yeah, vintage. <laughs> yeah, yep, vintage buttons. But this is so fun. And this is also an applique technique done on the machine that actually looks like it's done by hand. So you can do a lot of techniques on the machine that look like hand because I know some people now are having trouble with their with hands. The hands, it gets harder. And they can't do a lot of hand work. But yeah. anyway, yeah. they're really fun to do. And I have lots of other book technique things. Here's another one, one of those three-dimensional ones. Um, this one, this is free motion. This was paint dyed batting, which I actually demoed on Quilting Arts TV some years ago. Oh, wow. And then free motion stitched it and cut it back out. And you've so, got silk And I'll talk cocoons. about, yes, yeah, silk cocoons. This little cotton is not supposed to be in there. That is actually for traveling. Yeah. So keep <laughs> I it. didn't take that out. Yeah, not really good to be white there, but that's yes. okay. Anyway, so. Well, show us some of the other things that you are doing um, and creating. Okay. Lots and lots of class opportunities. Yes. It, everything that I have here on the table is a class I'm doing. Uh, I'll be doing the fairy garden in my local area in outside of Charlotte coming up this month. And then... We're going to do the little fairy. Sally is, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> I love her fabric. Yeah. And this fabric, um, I actually got this one from you guys, too, a while back. But this one actually is really good. This one, All of these are really good for little tiny backgrounds because everything I do is kind of small. Um, you know, I still buy yardage of fabric, but I only make, you know, six, eight-inch <laughs> pieces. <laughs> Uh, this is what I'll be teaching in Hampton this year. It's going to be wildflowers. Um, that will be a class of all of these little flowers right here. This is just, I mean, oh so, my God, Kyle, can you get I this texture the, I use here? the painter's this is threads um, exclusively now. I really love their threads. They are to die for, actually, because they are all hand dyed in Germany. Yes, yeah. And Judy we, carries all of those. We do. We definitely do. So they are really That's fun sweet. to work with. Oh, yeah. This is um, one of my nests. It's called Hatch. And it's actually strips of batik. And then I've got some paint dyed. Um, this actually was a sweater that I actually just unknitted because <laughs> it was cotton and it had a hole in it. And anyway, I just took it apart and it made the coolest stuff. And this and looks like seam binding. It is. Yeah. It's hand dyed. 
and yeah. then twigs, of course, and then of course more of the painter's thread, embroidery thread. But it's really nice when you can incorporate your hand dyed embroidery threads with the machine threads. Um, I use Wonder Fill thread for all of my machine quilting. It's a fabulous thread. Which we, we yes, sell we that too. We that love too. that. It's my favorite. This one actually shows. Oh my goodness! All yes. the different variations in the. This is a three-dimensional. It's all French knots, Ooh. and I tell people when they do this, you can use any size pearl cotton thread, but. If you use a size 12, you can do like 5,000 French knots. Or if you use a size 3, you can do like maybe 100 French knots. And every one turns out a different color when you're using painter's thread. Painter's thread. Yes. Painter's thread. Yeah, exactly. And I will teach you how to make a perfect French knot in today's class and tomorrow's class. I like size 3 yes. for French knots. It I makes like those it. knots bigger and yes. quicker. Yes, and they go fast. Yeah. Fills in fast. So, show us another um, book. Um, this is one. This one is called uh, Storybook Tales. And it's of the English countryside. Um, I have a friend, Courtney Tomchick, actually makes these Raku buttons for me. And then this is another one of those three-dimensional French knots. It actually has a curtain ring under it, which has a stitch done on that curtain ring mm -hmm. separately. And then on the inside, we have Beatrix oh, wow. Potter's Garden Beautiful. with the raised cup stitch, uh, sorbello stitches, French knots, I don't know what else is on there, bullions, a little bit of everything, lazy daisies down here. Such depth and color. It's just beautiful. It's just fun. And when you work on something small like this, I think it's very rewarding because you can actually finish it in a relatively short amount of time. Right. But you have basically worked on a whole quilt. And so I have fulfilled my passion for making that quilt. Look at the pocket. Yeah. And we're going to make these in tomorrow's class. Oh, cool. On the machine. And then this, I love finding little vintage things. This, I think, was an old uh, Monopoly piece. Yep. Oh, the bag. Yes. Yeah. So this little bird, she has her purse or her suitcase, <laughs> like me. I always have a <laughs> bag full of stuff. And then here's more. This is a different, um, this is that curtain ring, but the French knots are done actually on the fabric on this one instead of being done separately. Mm -hmm. And just lots of little trinkets, which we have yes. a lot of that here, so it's yes. perfect. And then here is the little thatch roof house. And I don't know whether they have guineas in England or in, or not, but my grandmother had guineas, and I love birds, so I had guinea buttons. <laughs> we had to have guineas, too. Yeah. And these tiny little... Um, sequins with glass beads to hold them on. Oh my goodness. So it's fun. And then I was lucky enough to teach in Hawaii this year um, in January and February. I was gone oh, for a so whole month. And then this is one of the projects we did. So this was painted using the Karen Dosh wax pastels or ink tense pencils. I used both. And then you start out with just a white piece of fabric and paint this and then hand stitch it. I used to do all of those on the machine. Mm -hmm. And when I was traveling, it's much easier for me to travel and carry and hand stitching rather than machine. And I'm also dealing with um, something that's a little easier for everybody to travel with. Right. So there's mm -hmm. a question. Do you have a book? Other than your fabric books? I have patterns. Oh, patterns. I have patterns. Individual patterns for everything that I've shown you. So and do that's you have a website? I do. It's SusanEdmondsonDesigns.com. And that's E-D-M-O-N-S-O-N. <laughs> <laughs> My name gets very complicated for people. Gula gets complicated for oh, people. Yeah. And, you know, G-U-L-A. Yeah. So it's just. Well, I've had Edmonds spelled everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Oh, those are so cool got those at a show one time and I can't get those anymore. 
I keep trying to find those in India, these things. I have not found them yet. I'm sure they're not very hard. I have to just start looking for them. That'll be the next trip. Yes. We'll source that sounds some, awesome. some buttons. Yeah, buttons are very hard. And the animal buttons are really kind of tricky to find. Okay. Um, so, and I have some of Wendy, Wendy Richardson's hand dyed doily things in here. She does fabulous lace. Mm, Wendy stuff. does wonderful stuff. Wendy's yeah. A good Beautiful stitching with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's with been doing thread, oh, yeah. She's another one to follow on uh, Facebook. Yes. She's been doing some really cool stuff. Yes, she does. She's a good friend of mine. That must be hers. That's yes. just how she gets her it followers. Yeah. 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 Different from what we do. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. definitely buy both. <laughs> I'm supposed to teach in Italy this coming spring, so I have these saved. I have a bunch of these saved. We're going to do a little fabric book for that, and it will be like the stained glass window from the cathedrals there. Mm. So who are you traveling with to Italy? Uh, Adventures in Italy is who I'll be traveling with. And how so can people find uh, the tour? They can contact me, and I can give them the information, or they can go to adventuresinitaly.com. Then we'll get her on our schedule. Yes. And we'll get her to go to Italy with us. So show us your quilt. Oh, Chris has this. Your oh, okay. Piece. These are, and there's some more of these right here also. There's some smaller ones here. These are my crazy quilt necklaces. I've taught this in um, Houston, and I've also taught these at Mancuso in Hampton, Virginia, and in Pennsylvania, um, and Greenville now. And, but this is called Artful Crazy Quilt Necklace. This is one of the pieces that I designed. A friend of mine gave me an antique piece, a little collar, that she had gotten somewhere. And I kind of adapted the design of it, and it was all in white. It was just a shape. And I thought, oh, that would be so cool if it was a crazy quilt. Mm -hmm. So um, this one I wore to one of my son's weddings. And, but they're just fun to wear. Um, they're an accent, you know, statement piece. And they're all hand stitched. Well, the piecing is done on the machine. You can hand stitch it, but then everything else is done by hand on there. And here's another one of these cool flowers. Yep. With the velvet and the French knots. So a lot of my pieces, um, this was the, uh, Tiki hut that I did in Hawaii um, with three-dimensional um, detached pico stitches, which I have a trick for getting these off of the fabric. Oh. Um, so anyway, but I taught that in Hawaii also. It has real shells, and I, I did that before I went to Hawaii, but it did look a lot like the places there. And a lot of my pieces are small, so they could be framed if you don't want them you know if you don't want just a tiny piece they can be framed do you sell any of your work uh in there? very little very little most of it becomes samples <laughs> it's, it, it does become samples and i teach a lot so it and i'm of the school that i don't want to make it but one time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if i have made something numerous times yes i will sell a piece or two not too many. But yeah. you also have a booth that shows. Yes. So you need you your sell pieces. supplies. Yes. And, uh, yeah. I sell supplies and patterns and all of that. Yeah. So I do a few of the local shows around North Carolina. I don't travel too far out of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. so that's good. That's where I am. Show us your quilts. Okay. Now you go to quilts. Yes. <laughs> From a For quilt. me, these are huge quilts. Yes, <laughs> me too. I get that. <laughs> uh, this one is called Wildflower Meadow. And um, it was just, you know, I love flowers, and it's kind of quirky. You know, the flowers are up in the air. They're everywhere. A lot of cave. It's just, yes, a lot of cave. And this one predominantly was cave, except for the background taupey colors that are on here, and then some of the solids. Um, yeah, I don't think cave does taupey colors. No, he does not. <laughs> he does definitely not. He has a little gray in some things, but that's about it. And then this one is called Out on a Lamb. <laughs> and, you know, everybody wants to call it Tree of Life, but no, it's Out on a Lamb. All these birds are Out on a Lamb. 
<laughs> so I kind of feel like I'm out on a limb sometimes. This one is combining cotton and wool mm -hmm. and hand stitching and machine stitching. So this one has a little bit of everything on it. That is wonderful. Yeah. And look at this one. Yeah, this Here. one, yeah. these two are all Pico stitches, three dimensional. Is this yeah. a class you teach? It is a class I teach and it's mm. also a pattern. Wow. It's fun. It needs to be a two or three day class. So I was going to say, is so it they a, yeah. Kind of make some progress. I will also be teaching at the Myrtle Beach Quilt Party again this year. And um, I taught this last year there. So you had a couple of days. Yeah, we had three days there. And then this is uh, just a little piece. This is just my hands. Um, I've always wanted to do a book on my hands. Some people think that's very strange, but I use my hands for everything. I mean, that's if, if I lost the use of my hands, I would be devastated. Yes. Because I, I have I to be that. busy. Um, growing up as an only child, you know, I didn't have brothers and sisters to play games with, and everybody says, oh, don't you know how to play so-and-so? No, I don't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I did this instead. I did, I painted, I drew, I colored. I did anything creative-wise I could get my hands on. Look at this. So there's a couple beehive. questions. Um, one is, this is, we're actually with Susan Edmondson, who is ear teaching um, this weekend. So Carol asked, who is the teacher? And it's actually Susan. And then um, to find out about the Myrtle Beach class. Uh, MyrtleBeachQuiltParty.com. So that was Myrtle Beach Quilt Party. Uh, wait a minute. It might be MBQP. They can just tell them to message me or contact me, and I'll okay. get them the Cont information. Contact Susan, um, Cheryl, and um, she'll give you the information. These look like samples for free motion. They are, and I brought those today because I'm going to um, show a little free motion today. Okay. So, but these are fun. This one, I was doing this at a shop a, some years ago, and she was just getting in ink tense pencils, and I had already had my ink tense pencils, of course, because I love them, and I just decided to play, so I colored. Yeah. Part of the we like sample. ink tents. We have the blocks and the pencils, and they're really great. And, and they don't reactivate. Yeah, you do. <laughs> they don't reactivate. They're really great. We we definitely um, like that too. They're so. they're fun to work with. They're just an easy easy thing to work with. Got another question. <clears throat> Why are you not coming to Houston? Uh, because. Well, so yeah, tell them the real reason. Tell them the, the real reason. reason is I did not have time to fill out the proposal. That is my real reason. No, uh -uh. it's too expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive. Teacher. Well, it is expensive for a teacher, and the and teachers do not get paid well. And that's I was a, very, yeah. very busy at the time. So. Seventeen hundred dollar hotel bill last year for Susan. So mm -hmm. you know, it's just unfortunately, it's um, one of those things. Even as a vendor. Um, for more so for teachers where yes, you tough. know you you really once you expend your money of getting there and setting up and all of that stuff you come home with very little money shipping <laughs> uh, shipping's huge shipping was, oh my god shipping gosh. was almost four hundred dollars yeah so it's so. um it's and the and the teachers are not paid well enough to be able to compensate for that so I so will be where, in Grand where, where are you teaching? I will be in Grand Rapids in September at the AQS show. I have six classes there. Three are already full, so if you're interested, there are three others. And then I will also be, let me see, where else am I going? I will be <laughs> in um, the Myrtle Beach Quilt Party. I'll be in Hampton, Virginia again in February. And I can't tell you where I'm going to be after. I'll be in Italy in May. And somewhere else in between yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it's not that day yet so you don't need to know where you are today you're in virginia <laughs> i'm not looking at my calendar <laughs> you have to keep that calendar going i have to look at it every day okay where am i supposed to be today yeah yeah but there is space in, definitely in both classes as i said if you can get your ducks in a row and get here by 10 30 you can slip into this class and then tomorrow you can register online at artisticartifacts.com we do have ma classroom machines, so if you don't have a machine and want to come take the class, that's good. It's a great opportunity for to work with a Bernina ambassador. 
a talented artist and a wonderful person to spend a day with. It will be fun. We're going to have a good time yeah. today and tomorrow. So yeah. you don't need that much really for today's class anyway. So Judy's got everything that the shop you need. <laughs> no. <laughs> I pulled mine together in a pretty quick amount of time last night. Just yeah. grab some stuff. Scissors, yeah. pens, yeah. you're good. Yeah, we got the rest <laughs> of it. Um, any other questions? All right, you want to remind them of your website? Uh, SusanEdmondsonDesigns.com. And that is E D M O N S O N. <laughs> I'm like, huh, I mean, did I spell her name right? <laughs> okay. It's tricky. Have a great day today. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in the store. Bye. Bye.